How gorgeous is this place? Okay, but obviously what really sets these places apart are the views. The desert is out of this world. The food is cooked there for five hours. All the juice from the lamb and chicken to the rice. Down to the rice. Oh, amazing. <laughs> we are cruising now. In today's episode of Nepal Nico, we have left Petra and made our way to Jordan's famous red desert, Wadi Rum. We'll be spending the night in a very unique room fit for the extraterrestrial landscape. Our tour of the camp starts with a quick tea in the lounge before checking out our home for the night. How gorgeous is this place? Right into the cave, built right on the rocks. It's so incredible. Little welcome cake and tea. You look great. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I blend in with the rocks. To be honest, this thing's the bomb. Like, how do we not use these in Canada where it's stinking cold? This is genius. It's like fleece, it's like a robe made for outside. It's awesome. This is so cool. We're at the Memories Aisha Luxury, Luxury Camp. Camp. <laughs> we are so excited. We have one of the beautiful bubble dome glass rooms. Wadi Rum by itself in Jordan is excellent, but then when you add kind of the bubble dome kind yeah. of experience. It looks like you're on Mars. It's like a Martian dome. Yeah, so let's, let's go, go inside. Welcome to our dome for the evening. Seriously, look at this place. <laughs> It is so cool. We uh, have been chatting with the owner and everything at the camp is handmade, so all these pieces have been handmade. Okay, but obviously what really sets these places apart are the views. So take a look at this. Hello, Wadi Rum. It is so gorgeous. I feel like I just like lifted off the spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take take off. Oh, that was cool. Okay. So we've got the extra bed, of course. If yep. you have an extra human that needs this place to sleep, and a coffee table with a couple of chairs. Again, I think all handmade. Beautiful lounging sofa, and probably my personal favorite area of the entire space. Okay, besides the incredible view, is the coffee area. <laughs> I'm so excited for coffee. Tomorrow we're actually doing a sunrise jeep tour, so we'll have our sunrise jeep tour and come back and make coffee. There's also a balcony, a small balcony out back. And this bed, like, oh, huge comforters, because it gets gonna get chilly here, like zero degrees overnight. Okay, and then I think the last thing to show you, oh, besides the skylight, that's cool. And the chandelier, I mean, look at that. Welcome to the bathroom has like everything you could want, right? Of course, sink, hair dryer, a mirror off to the side here. All the lovely like mud, dead sea shampoos and conditioners and lotions, which have become a favorite of ours. And then an entire full-size shower. And we also got in our room some more Bedouin jackets. Wow, these ones are even heavier. Oh, it's like, it's just like a big hug, <laughs> a big fuzzy hug. Yeah, they're meant to keep you very warm in the desert. And they do just that. We're gonna wear them tonight, I'm sure, because it gets chilly here. That space is so beautiful. Oh and yeah. and so. the lighting right now oh, is amazing because sunset is coming up. So we're walking over. I heard there's a good viewpoint. Yeah. A couple of fellas are taking us up and we're gonna watch the sunset. Hopefully we make it in time. Yeah, the sun sets so early here at this time of the year in Jordan. Yeah. It's November. 
And uh, yeah, so that's real early. So we're hoping it. it's not even four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I can't believe this landscape, it's just beautiful. I want to stop st and stare and take some photos, but the sun is quickly going down here in Jordan and we're rushing, but we're soaking in every second of it. It's amazing. We made it. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. This place is a really cool red, very red desert, especially now here at sunset. Mm. The desert is out of this world. Mm. It feels like we're in a completely, it feels different like, planet. Yeah, it feels like we're on a different planet. <laughs> on Mars or even. And then the bubble dome below make it really feel like it is a different planet. Space. Yeah. Oh, I can smell it. So dinner is made inside these kind of underground mm -hmm. ovens. The food is cooked there for five hours and it's cooked in a huge chunks, huge pieces of lamb and other kind of vegetables and things like that. And it's easier to cook it when there's this quantity. And then after there's, we'll take it all out and chop it all up. Oh, wow. How is it? Looks beautiful. You got the chicken and lamb, vegetables and the rice at the bottom. All the juice, I guess, yeah. falls oh. down to the bottom. All the juice from the lamb and chicken goes in the goes in the to the rice. Down to the rice. Oh, amazing, amazing. <gasps> wow. That is a great way to cook food. Yes. This middle style. You can see this food just in the desert. What'd you get? So I got some of the meat that we saw outside that was cooking underground. Big leg of lamb and he's got it all chopped up there and uh, in smaller pieces and then on rice. Fall off the bone, good. That is amazing. Does it taste like it was cooked in the ground? It tastes like authentic Wadi Rum cooking. Delicious. This is why I'm here. This is why I eat dinner. All but prim. <laughs> oh, that guy. <gasps> Back in the bubble. Back in the bubble. Very full bellies. Now we are going to enjoy the super cool views. A really full moon and a comfy bed. It's pretty cool. Should we go stargazing? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> we can stargaze from in here. too early for anyone to get up but one of the best things you can do in Wadi Rum is get a Jeep ride and that's exactly what we're gonna do here hopefully we're gonna make it for the sunrise it's a little bit cloudy but fingers crossed it'll clear up by the time we get there
sun's coming up behind us. I think we'll get to see it kind of between those mountains there. What a sunrise. It's raining. But it's actually raining a little. Which I think is really exciting. Yeah, I think so too. We heard that um, they haven't had rain here for many, many months. Look at that. A rainbow. A rainbow in the desert. That has to be some kind of epic luck. Not, I bet that's not too often you see that. No. It's probably one of the most beautiful things you can see in the desert. I can't believe it's here. It's beautiful. Where the rainbow ends. Look, it ends right there. I've never seen that. I see almost another one. It's almost a double rainbow. This is a lot harder than it looks. Every step up is met with a third of a step down. This ain't no joke. It's not as bad as running up the mountain for sunrise yesterday. <laughs> but on a high note. Yeah, at the top of this sand dune here with water run behind us. It's been so amazing. This desert yeah. is unreal. It really does feel like it's a different different world, different planet altogether. Mm -hmm. And this is a fabulous way for us to end this country because we are actually leaving Jordan tomorrow, which is too bad. We've oh, had such so an sad. awesome time here. Jordan is the bomb. It's yeah. awesome. You have to visit. Yeah, Jordan's amazing. But we will catch you on our next country that we're hopping off to tomorrow. We're so big, excited. Big adventure is coming up. Yeah. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Until next time. And this bad. <gasps> Did I just disappear behind that? <laughs> it almost looks like one of those Christmas like snow globes that you would shake up, but it's like full sized. <laughs> We almost witnessed a car crash in the desert. <laughs> How is it even possible? We're third. Like, there's like nothing out here. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of sand. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. 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 <laughs>